the CGM will tell you, just give you volumes of wonderful, empowering information about uh, how the carbohydrates in your diet are affecting your personal metabolism. And that's a, a big part of the story. But the, the part of the story it won't tell you is about your insulin levels. Because you can have beautiful glucose levels 24 seven, and you can still, depending on what you're eating, have high insulin levels. That's much harder to, to, uh, to assess at home. There are ways you can do it. But the one test that I recommend in the book that people get is to not just get a fasting glucose level, which you know most doctors do order when you go in for your physical, but to also ask for a fasting insulin level. Uh, it's a very inexpensive test, even just you know 10 or fifteen dollars even without insurance coverage. And that will tell you not just what your glucose level is at that point, that's your fasting glucose, but how much insulin is your body needing to produce? to manage the amount of carbohydrate in, in your diet. Because uh, the, if you're, what's happening over long periods of time, if you're eating too much carbohydrate for your metabolism is, your glucose may be perfectly normal because you're pumping out so much insulin to keep that glucose in a normal range. So you don't just wanna know what your glucose level is, you also wanna know about your insulin status. Because if your insulin is, is working hard to keep that glucose in a normal range, that high insulin level over time is going to damage your brain metabolism. So that is another piece of the puzzle that's harder. It's, it's harder to assess that piece. So whey protein powder um, raises not glucose levels. Your glucose will not rise. Uh, there's no carbohydrate in whey protein. It's protein. It's pure protein. Uh, but it's dairy protein. And dairy proteins are different. And so casein uh, and whey are both isolated dairy proteins and they're in all kinds of so-called keto-friendly snacks and bars and shakes and cereals and cookies and other kinds of really popular keto-friendly foods because they don't contain any carbohydrate. But these, but whey protein in particular, casein to a lesser extent, they don't raise glucose levels, but they raise insulin levels substantially. Whey protein raises insulin almost as much as pure glucose does. And therefore, whey protein is uh, will give you a, a, a really decent insulin spike. And this is, you know, this is not something that I recommend to my patients. I advise all of my patients to avoid uh, dairy protein powders uh, for, for best results when they're trying to get their insulin levels under control. This is why, you know, you'd really need to get this fasting insulin level, which is something that you can order yourself through, through a, a laboratory such as ownyourlabs.com, which I do recommend, or ask your doctor or nurse practitioner to order uh, an, a fasting insulin level for you. But there is kind of a backdoor way to assess your insulin levels at home, and that's using a ketone meter. Because, because uh, as many of your viewers may know, um, insulin and ketones have a reciprocal relationship, meaning uh, you cannot produce ketones unless your insulin levels are low. So in order to produce ketones, what needs to happen is you need to turn your insulin levels down mm -hmm. enough to the, to the point that fat burning switches on. And when fat burning is switched on vigorously enough, then the liver will turn some of that fat that you're burning, whether it's coming from your plate or, or, from, or from your uh, body fat. If you're burning fat vigorously enough, the liver will turn some of that fat into ketones. It'll chop it up into these very small pieces of fat, these fragments of fat called ketones that, are, that dissolve easily in the bloodstream, circulate throughout the brain and body, and can cross the blood-brain barrier and, and bridge any energy gaps that might be there and help the brain uh, uh, re restore the brain to full energy capacity. So ketones are wonderful, um, but uh, but it, but they can only be produced when your insulin level is nice and low. So when your insulin is low, your ketones will be high and vice versa. If your insulin levels are high, you won't be able to burn fat. Fat burning will switch off and you will be in fat storage mode.